So like, you know, like how how like he played them right, like the gangs, right. gangsters, right? Right. And so the gangs, you know, they they like, they, it was like a like a double agent kind of thing, right? Where right. he went in for for like for for like trying to get fame from them, right? And then get protection from them, get the credit, get the street credit, right? But then they like flipped it over on him because they they, they felt like they were being used. Right, and then they were just starting to like threaten him, and then you know, try to kill him. There's a lot of things that go into that that whole situation with six nine, six nine, look, six nine. Uh, let me let me start off with six nine. Boy, you a snitch, but like, everybody, like I said, everybody got their motives. You know, like everybody, everybody does what everybody does what they do, like for a reason. You know, like. I get, I get what happened there. I, I you you telling me this whole thing about like, you know, six nine using him and stuff like that, and you know, then he got played and he got used for it, and it's just like a back and forth kind of thing. I think it's if somebody was coming up in the, in the first place, he shouldn't have played someone like that in the first place. Like, he shouldn't have you know, played that game, like, right? Yeah, you know, you should never play someone like that. Like they're trying to bring you in on something that they're they're, they're doing. You know, like they they trying to bring you up, and you're not biting the hand that feed, but like. Th- th- things like that happen, you know, just like not everybody think the same, you know, they just want to play him anyway. And, and this boy ended up snitching on a, a lot of people. Like, that, that shit, shit go back and forth, man. Like, you know, I don't know why y'all got, like, why y'all was playing with some petty people. Yeah. Like, you know, just, like, it's petty, you know, just like back and forth shit, like snitching on each other. Like, not snitching on each other, but just doing each other dirty. Like, come on, man, that's right. petty, bro. Like, like, you guys are trying to help each other come up. No, no, not not shoot each other down. You know, I think like, the thing is, like those those guys couldn't really come up. The the guys that he was affiliated with, yeah, they were just gang members. How could they go up, bro? There's a lot of ways to come up, man. Like I see a lot of artists hanging out with people, and then people in their group just coming up out of nowhere. A little baby, like bringing up his homie Rilo, Rilo Rodriguez. There's a bunch of artists that are just bringing up people that they know, man. Little baby was hanging out Young Thug videos, like. Since like way back, man. Like since like since checks, man. Like people don't understand that checks. That's a song by uh, Young Thug. You know, just like that, and that's that's a pretty old song. You know that that go way back. You know, what song? You know, it's called Checks. Checks. Yeah, by uh, Young Thug. And uh, dude, there's like back back in the day, songs like that around that time. Little baby was hanging out in the music video. We right. didn't even know this guy was about to come up. You right. know, like little baby just up there. You know, just like, I don't know why they didn't do something like that. Like they over here trying to get it the wrong way. I get it. You know, everybody do their thing, and everybody's going. You know, like I, I don't judge anybody, man. Whether you selling drugs, but whatever it is you doing, man, I do not judge, man, because I grew up in that environment. Don't get me wrong. You hear my voice and like the way I talk. It, it sounds like a proper boy, you know. But like, man, I seen 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 a few things growing up along the way. I don't know, man. Uh, gang, should, gang, should, should he like? Okay. He shouldn't be in that situation. Okay, that was, that's what I was going to get to. Like, yeah. he should have never gotten himself in that yeah, situation. Yeah, he shouldn't be in that situation. You're not about that shit. But, know? okay, now here's to another question that you might want me to fill, you know, fill me in on. Um, yeah. Like, did it play well for him in the end? Honestly, people want to think that it played well because, you know, he's still, still he's, walking around. He's like famous. Nothing, nothing and, happened, you yeah. know? Like, but... Nah, nobody want to work with him. I'll tell you that. Much. Nobody want to work with him. Nobody's po- gonna work with him, right? Nope. Posty just said he's not gonna work with him. Post Malone said that. I don't. I don't. <laughs> well, I, didn't, well, I, didn't, I, mean, I didn't ever see Post Malone ever working with this man. I, and I he bet already Post said Malone's hangs not. with other rappers too. So yeah, like, you know, but look, I never seen Post Malone and Six Nine making music together. But they would have. He already just cut it off before the idea of it popped up. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, like damn, dude, that's he just a, tossed it out that there. That is huh? serious. He's in like, the he Twitter sphere, tossed it right out <laughs> instantly. Yeah. You know, before anyone ever thought, of, oh yeah, what would this guy, this guy sound like together? Hell no, he already said no. <laughs> that's what happened bro <laughs> like, you know just like it did not work out well for him you know As, despite all that you still getting a bunch of views and honestly that's what really matters nowadays man let's be real it's just like the more attention you get good or bad it doesn't matter when you're a rapper it's just like you're getting it and as long as you're getting it you're making money and people are playing this shit bro it doesn't matter I was but watching like, it today. Uh, he, how much has he sold uh, how many uh, whatever they're selling now records or digital shit how, how much has he sold what was it last time? I think we could check. Based on wiki, on wiki. Yeah. Um, 
They rounded so, off fifty something thousand first week, right? This is the album <clears throat> says uh debuted on number four in the US Billboard with fifty three thousand uh thousand. First week, right? Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. its first week, um the rapper's third top album. Yeah, third top album, okay. The album sold thirty two thousand copies in its physical and accumulated th- almost uh, thirty three million on demand streams Heck. of the sets track in the and the weeks end ending September nineteen. Says uh, many streamer uh, streaming services boycotted the album. It was not presented in any major playlist. Uh, Spotify music video. And then um, his previous album, uh, Dummy Boy, was even less than that. But I mean, like, I know it sounds like, oh man, 53,000 53, is still a lot. And um, and then all those, like, uh, the plays in the YouTubes and shit, yeah. like, that accumulated money too. <laughs> Dude, so, you should have seen the look, just like my bad stopping you right there. Today, today, 15 minutes in, the dude got 288,000 views. 15 minutes into the video that he 15? just dropped today. Yeah. So, um, it's because controversy yeah. creates cash, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, today is just where it is, bro. But you got like, to You gotta create some little controversy, you know, people man. People talk about controversy, but then there's other people talking about, like, the whole... Um, uh, okay, look. Why? What'd you say? Because right, we're going into the um, the controversy and stuff like that with 6 9 Like, we, we talk about, like, what's going on with him and Meek Mill, bro. <laughs> Meek <laughs> like, Mill? I don't oh. know if you've seen that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, dude. He even put it in the video. I was watching yeah, it. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I was just like, whoa, that is a shot. That is a shot. Right. Like, you know, this is like, I don't know, man. This is just like, I wouldn't let that slide, bro. You think Mi- you think Mick Mill's working on it? I hope he is. <laughs> I wouldn't let that slide, bro. Like, someone like that. <laughs> no, for someone like that, like, first of all, I don't think it's ever been illegal to just throw hands with someone. As long as everybody it is, just keeps their mouth shut. But they were recording That's it, though. That's the thing. You know, it's really hard. But it depends if they just... Try to you know press charges and that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. And I don't think I don't think who who's gonna press charges there, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's just like, dude, I'm gonna square up. Like the first person that look, somebody run up to me like uh, run up to me like six nine did to Meek Mill in that garage. But remember Meek Mill? He's a he's a he's like he was a convicted, you know? So he's like. He can't get in trouble, fool. It's hard to say. He can't. I understand that too. You know? You you're not gonna risk it, fool, for this dumbass to just do some dumb shit. All he's doing is just trolling you, and then all Meek Mill is doing is react, right? He reacted, and he reacted badly, right? Or yeah. or so it seemed like, right? Uh, yeah, so it seems, you know? It's just like, honestly, because I don't think, like, the man, despite the way he reacted, it's just, I don't think that's him, you know? Just like, he, I think he's just trying to ease the situation. He actually looked like he was trying to ease the situation, I'm not going to lie. I, it was, like was more like 6 to... 9 just going back and forth, right? It was, it was more like 6 9 just, like, trying to start a fight, but I don't blame him. Because here's here's the big part. I don't blame him because Meek was talking a lot of shit, a lot of shit about rats, and then saying all this shit. You gonna set somebody off? You gonna talk your shit? You gonna set somebody off when you open your mouth? You're hurting somebody's feelings out there, bro. So you can't expect them not to react the way they did. And I get what Meek is coming from, and maybe he did, you know, like want to just ease the situation because he right. doesn't want to get in trouble. But like, you know, he kind of asked for it, you know. You can't just say something about someone and forget like you did that, you know? So he he, he said that what? It was making fun of him for being a rat, this and that. I mean, like, everybody did. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm right. saying, you know? So all these rappers, they, they can't be, they, they cannot be surprised if 6 9 do some shit like that to them, too. Modern day rappers are comedians, too, fool. Yeah, man, they're fucking clowns, like, yeah, I'm bro. saying. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, man. They're just, that, they're just like, trying to get out there and, 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 you know, get their material out and see how if people like it. Yeah. I like you know, there's people get sh- people have sticks, dude. Like, like I have, I'm probably sure somebody seems. I don't know if I have a stick, really. I just, I don't know. Like, <laughs> just goofy, I guess, a little bit. Yeah. And I say it, but like, I, but like six nine is fucking super duper goofy, you know? No, he's like, like too goofy. He's too, too goofy. goofy. He's too comical. Too goofy. Yeah, like some like, shit like that. I was it, like, you, you don't take him seriously. The last time we saw him in a fight, that fool lost his shoe, and you know it was terrible. Fool, he was looking like. You just look terrible. Nah, Even man. standing, fool. Like it was, it was bad. Yeah, he just standing over there. He just standing there, and the, and like, he's losing his shoe and shit. Like you're like, how the fuck? Not even the ground likes you. Then it goes half of whatever you paid for, man. 
Like, hell no. <laughs> I'm not going to lose my shoes, man. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I can't. I can't stand losing a fight like that, man. I'd rather get my ass beat. Straight <laughs> up. Straight up. I'd rather get my ass beat. And that's the thing about these rappers nowadays, man. Don't know, don't know what's going on with them now. Nah, man. I like how this podcast has turned into a rap rap podcast you know yeah well, well, it, <laughs> it's like rapping yeah, dramas it's like, <laughs> honestly it's just like it's just like one of those things oh man is there 